my YouTube channel. My name is Tanya. This is Artistic Jungle. Welcome back for whoever is a subscriber and welcome for whoever is new. Before we get started, just a reminder, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also don't forget to check out my shop on Etsy. And these are my actually new items from Etsy that I just made. This beautiful Amazonite necklace and it's part of my Namaste collection and I'm really excited about it. I'll leave the link down below so then you can check out the details of this beautiful collection. Don't forget to click that subscribe and don't forget to click that like button and don't forget to share. Love this video. Leave me comments. I love to hear from you. And so today's video is to let you know some tips on finding the best sunblock for you. First and foremost, sunblock is the key component to anti-aging skin, which is really important. There's so many choices of sunblock when it comes to choosing one. It can get really, really confusing. There's just so many varieties of them and one does this, one does that, and what to look for. It could be a lot. So I'm here to make it easier for you and to simplify it for you so you can find the best one that's suited for you. Sun Exposure is a highly aging accelerator. This is one of my favorite brands, Hawaiian Tropics. I absolutely love this one and they are cruelty free, which is fantastic. One of the things to look out for is UVB protection and UVA protection. So UVB protection is affecting the top layer of your skin. When you have UVB protection, it prevents redness, it prevents peeling, it prevents skin cancer, which is melanoma. And the UVA component is the deep layer of the skin. So when you have a UVA protection with your sunblock, it's preventing aging and it's preventing wrinkling. And it's also protecting the loss of collagen and to keep its elasticity intact. Then you're also gonna look for titanium oxide. You wanna flip around the bottle and you wanna read the ingredients. The titanium oxide is supposed to be from like six to 8% or greater. And this particular ingredient creates an even stronger barrier from the sun causing any damage at all. When you're purchasing a sunblock, it should say broad spectrum, which means it protects from UVB, UVA, and UVC light. So I'm going to show you on the bottle, you can see it says broad spectrum. It has UVB and UVA protection. This one in particular, it is oil free sunscreen. So I do have combination skin, which I do need oil free because I have, you know, my T-zone gets really oily. The only issue I have with this is that it's not waterproof. In the winter time, it's hard to find a sunblock that has waterproof along with it. And in the summertime, it's different because they have like an entire aisle of all the different types of sunblock. And that's when I find the ones that are waterproof. I wish they had it all year round because people go on vacation and a lot of sports. And so it's really hard to find like a waterproof one in the winter. But in the summertime, they have tons of it. And you know, you do need to reapply because if you're swimming or you're sweating, sports, what have you, um, you know, you do need to reapply. And I do put it on my face and hands in the winter time and then in the summertime I just put it all over because my skin is not really exposed in the winter time because it's freezing so but in the in the summertime I just put it all over before I leave if you're into makeup like I am and I do put makeup on in the summertime because of like the t-zone situation and I do get oily they do have ones that are not only are they oil free they're also mattifying for the face which makes it easier for the makeup to stay on and most importantly when you are putting on sunblock you want to put that on last and I'll explain. So you start with your skincare, which is your serum, your moisturizer, and then you're supposed to put on the sunscreen. And then you can proceed with your foundation and your makeup routine and whatnot. Even though it's a cloudy day, the sun is still out. It's just covered by clouds. You still need the protection, which is highly needed. So now that I've helped you figure out how to find the best sunblock for you, start off first thing in the morning with your skincare and your sunblock routine and take it from there. It's so important. It protects you from so much, even though as much as we love the sunshine, don't get me wrong. I love the sunshine. I just don't like cooking in the sun. I don't like as much as I love it. Like I, I love to be in the shade and under the sun and enjoy it and just enjoy myself. I hope I've made it easier for you to narrowing down how to find a sunblock. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like my video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to check out my Etsy shop and see the cool jewelry that I just made. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.